Welcome back. To get more on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. You can also watch us live on your mobile device by logging on to m.channelstv.com. And download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows devices from their respective stores. The Channels TV and the Channels 24 apps will give you access to news and updates. You'll also have access to the eyewitness feature. With it, you can share pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. Let's get more on the herdsmen situation in Benue State. This time, residents and farmers of Arodoye, an agrarian community in Ondo State, have sent a Save Our Soul message to their state government following the destruction of their farm, which they blame on suspected herdsmen. And this is coming just as another farmer in Kwara State, a retired naval officer, is blaming the destruction of his own farm on suspected herdsmen. In this particular case, the farmland was burned to the ground. The greenness of these trees shows this should be a healthy farmland located at Oboile community in Ikiti local government area of Kwara State. It is a lifetime investment of a retired naval officer, but now it can only exist in film and archives as this farmland is now a ghost of itself, having been replaced by these leafless trees. Covering about 500 hectares of land, the farm had orange palm trees and cassava cultivated on it. The owner of the farm, retired Vice Admiral Samuel Afolayo, is not happy about his loss, which he says is in the region of 150 million naira. I planted 5,000 trees, stands of, palm, of orange that you see is already producing. More than 2,000 trees have been burnt. Despite that I do for our tracing, despite that I take all necessary precautions, they will still come in with their cows deep inside the farm, take as much orange as they want, and start feeding on my cassava. The mission of destruction is not only in Kwara State. These farmers in Undo State also have their farms stopped after people suspected to be herdsmen allegedly had their fill of the crops. The herdsmen have been coming to attack us here for more than four years. They feed on the crops and destroy whatever is left. I warned my people not to confront them because we hear on radio and television how they kill whoever challenges them. Many farmers or residents have fled for fear of being attacked. As we are now here, we are living in fear. We have nothing to eat here. Then think about cassava and kukuyam, and here I'm inside 14 plots of land. It's something I cannot estimate. Even as I am, I'm, I'm just bleeding inside. I'm crying inside because I have nothing left. While this man could contain his emotion over his loss, one of the women could not. We are using that cassava. We will brew the cassava. I will do fufu. I will do gari. I will sell and train my children in the school. They are in the school now. They are asking mommy bring school fees, and there is no school fees again. My husband loan money to farm the to do the farm. We have not returned the loan, and the government they are still calling my husband. They came the last they came to our house. They said they will arrest my husband that they will go for jail if he did not pay that money. You are you see they feed their cattle on our crops and burn whatever is left. They kill whoever challenges them. I'm calling on the government to help me because I feed on the farm produce. The concern of the farmers is that the federal government seems to be only paying lip service about its effort to check the excesses of suspected herdsmen who appear to have resorted to destroying everything that crossed their path. Very sad indeed. Now schools in Ebonyo State are set to close for a week to stop the spread of Lassa fever. This decision is coming days after the death of two doctors and a nurse from the virus. But earlier we spoke to the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Daniel Omeruki, who says that 139 confirmed cases have been placed under surveillance. So far we have... Uh... Nine positive cases, uh, and 
When news across Nigeria returns, still in the health sector, we'll find out plans by the World Health Organization to ensure that malaria in sub-Saharan Africa is eradicated. Please stay with us.